Okay, we just talked about classful addressing, classful internet addressing. Let's talk a little bit about how we can make that more flexible. Obviously, if one is classful, guess what? We can make it classless and get that flexibility we need. Remember, we could have these situations. I could have this byte be my network, which allowed me to have these three bytes represent a host address, a unique address on the internet. The other situation I could have was to have these two bytes represent a network address. So I could have two of the 16th networks, which was 64,000 different numbers, approximately. Okay, which then made the last two bytes host. So I could have 64,000 network addresses and 64,000 host addresses. The third classical case I had was where the first three bytes were network. And the last byte being the host. So now I had 24 bits for a network address, about 16 million different network addresses I could get, but each one of them can only have 256 hosts. Now that's a round number. We're going to get into the uh, finer points of this as we go on, but right now just think of that as 256 because there's 8 bits. My little chart over here that I put up on the board for you is 2 to the 8th is 256. Again, this is a number of bits. So since we're in binary, we're taking two to whatever number of bits we have, and that's going to give you a decimal number for you to play with. Two to the eighth power, eight bits, 256 different addresses. That's important to remember. So this was the classical structure. Remember we said that if I had 300 addresses I needed, I couldn't use this. I had to come up to a class B address with uh, two bytes, 64,000 different addresses. Okay, 64,000 host addresses. I needed 300. Complete waste. So we got to come up with some better way of doing this. This was classful. Let's think about how we could modify that a little bit so that it's a little easier to work with. Okay, so here were our three classes, if you will. One byte, two byte, three byte. Class A, class B, class C. Okay, that's how we did it for a lot of years. We're running out, which is, if you think about it, we have 32 bits possible there, right? Two to the 32nd power is only uh, approximately 4 billion. 4 billion addresses. We're running out. We're running out fast. This is IP version 4. This is what runs the internet right now. We're converting. The Japanese have already converted. The United States is catching up, but it costs bucks to do this. So obviously we don't want to spend the money, so we're kind of doing other things to make IPv4 last a longer time. However, the world is going eventually to IP version 6. Now, I'm not going to get too much into this. I just wanted to point this out to you. We have about 4 billion addresses with 2 to the 32nd power. 32 bits. I have 32 bits here in an IP address. IPv6 has 128 bits. Okay? That equals big number. I don't even know, 3.4 or something, 3.4 times 10 to the 10 to the 34th or 10 to the 38th, somewhere in there. But that's a big number. To put it in perspective, everybody on earth 
could have their own IPv4 address space. Everybody on Earth could have four billion different addresses to use. Okay, in this number, that's how big it is. So, just understand that we're still trying to work though with IPv4. We're trying to extend it, and one of the first things we can do to try to extend that that addressing scheme is to use classless addressing. Okay. If this is classful addressing, what the heck is classless addressing? Classless addressing is going to be a case where we basically ignore these lines. We don't care about them anymore. Okay? We're not going to worry about those lines anymore. We're still going to worry about our dotted decimal. We still have that same concept. But why should I restrict myself to two bytes for hosts addressing when I only need 300 addresses? If I only need 300 addresses, why should I take 16 bits? out of my address, which would give me a possibility of 64,000. Let's take a look at what we need actually to get 300. If I come back over here to my little chart I put up for you, you'll notice 300 somewhere between 256 and 512. So I need to at least take 9 bits to get 512 addresses, right? So on my hosts, if I want to take, if I want 300 addresses, I need to take 9 bits. I don't need to take two whole bytes. I need to take these 8 and this 1. With that number of bits, I can address from 0 to 512. I'm not wasting a lot of addresses now. I'm not wasting thousands of addresses that would have had to be included if I had taken those bits. Okay. This now all becomes a network address. This whole thing is now my network address. This smaller portion is my host addressing. This is called classless addressing. I can draw this line or as another professor here at the college likes to call it, a fence. I can draw this fence anywhere I need to in order to get the number of hosts I need. Okay, this is going to say this is one of the uh, methods we've used to save our addressing. This is called classless addressing. 